I absolutely does not surprise me that that number is so low and it's so low in my, in it was one guy's opinion, right? But I think it's low because it's intimidating and it's, it's hard. And so it's on these companies. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I work with Hybury and I think what we've done is, is we've tried to make this really accessible for frontline users, right? If the people who understand the problems the best, the, the folks on the front line, the category managers, the merchants at organizations, or the partnership um, between the two of them, if those folks who know the problem sets better than anybody else can now have access to this really, really powerful computing capacity or these the machine learning components, right? Um, that's where I believe the magic happens. And that's what we've tried to do. And I'm sure there's you know, other companies that are trying to make this really, really accessible for people, but it's really intimidating. And you get into this notion, Deborah, of like, well, it can't be a black box, right? We have to be able to explain what, like I have to have command of my business. I have to be able to say why things are going on. And so the ability to come back and actually look look through it, look through the tool, whether that's, you know, ours with Curator, um, which is our tool at Hybrid that we're using, or others in the industry, like the ability to, to understand what's going on, and then the ability to actually utilize these, um, this type of technology, I think is intimidating. And in, in a lot of instances, you know, there's sort of you, you, you have to have a PhD in mathematics or computer science, masters in order to be able to navigate some of these kind of um, components and it, it's it's we're democratizing this space for the people that understand the retail problem set rather than the technological um, problem set. 